Have you ever pondered what the future of the internet might look like? A realm where the power doesn't reside in the hands of a few tech giants, but is distributed among its users. You, me, and everyone who uses the internet. Welcome to the dawn of Web3, a new phase in the evolution of the internet. Web3 is the third generation of internet systems, characterized by decentralized networks and user control. It's like moving from a city where everything is controlled by one government to a place where every citizen has a say in the decisions that shape their digital life. Web3 promises to shift the power dynamics, putting you and me at the center of the digital universe. In this world, the user is the king. With Web3, we have the potential to own our data, control our digital identities, and even earn value from our online interactions. Web3, a term that is increasingly becoming a buzzword, is poised to disrupt the way we interact with the digital realm. To understand the potential of Web3, we must first look into the past. Let's take a quick journey through the evolution of the internet. It all started with Web1, the static read-only web. This was a place where information was published and consumed, but interaction was minimal. It was like a digital library, filled with information but lacking in conversation. Then came Web2, the interactive read-write web. This was a major shift, transforming the internet into a global platform for communication and collaboration. Here, anyone could create and share content, leading to the rise of social media, blogs, and online marketplaces. Now we're entering the era of Web3, the read-write-execute web. This is a decentralized version of the internet, where users have control over their own data and interactions are facilitated by smart contracts. It's a step towards a more democratic and transparent digital world. Each version of the web has brought about its own set of innovations, and Web3 promises to be no different. So, what exactly does Web3 have in store for us? Let's dive in to explore the potential benefits and innovations that Web3 could bring. Web3, or the third version of the World Wide Web, is a new paradigm in the digital world. It's a vision of the internet that's built on the foundation of decentralization, leveraging the power of blockchain technology. One of the key innovations of Web3 is the rise of decentralized applications, or dApps. These applications run on a peer-to-peer -peer network instead of being hosted on a centralized server. This means that they are not controlled by a single entity, making them resistant to censorship and giving users more freedom and control. Imagine an internet where you can interact directly with digital services without going through a middleman. This is the promise of Web3, and it's already being realized through blockchain-based systems. From social media platforms to online marketplaces, blockchain is providing the backbone for a new generation of services that are more transparent, secure, and user-friendly. And then there's decentralized finance, or DeFi. It's a financial system that's built on blockchain, aiming to democratize finance by removing intermediaries and allowing peer-to-peer -peer transactions. DeFi is already disrupting traditional finance, offering new ways to lend, borrow, trade, and earn interest on digital assets. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of Web3 is the promise of more user control and privacy. In the Web2 era, tech giants have an unprecedented level of access to our personal data. Web3, on the other hand, envisions a digital landscape where users have control over their own data. This could lead to a more private, secure, and fair digital world. Web3 is not just about technology, it's about reshaping the digital landscape. It's about creating an internet that's more democratic, more transparent, and more empowering for its users. Web3 seeks to give the power back to the users, creating a more open and equitable digital world. While Web3 holds promising potential, it is still in its nascent stages. Picture it as an infant, full of promise yet with much growth ahead. One of the major hurdles to overcome is scalability. Today, blockchain networks, the bedrock of Web3, struggle to handle high volumes of transactions. This is like a highway with only two lanes, causing traffic to slow down. But fear not, solutions are in the pipeline. Layer 2 networks and sharding are just two examples of innovations aimed at widening this proverbial highway, allowing for faster and more efficient traffic flow. Beyond technical challenges, there's the question of regulation. The decentralized nature of Web3 is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it offers increased privacy and freedom, but on the other, it challenges existing legal frameworks. Governments around the world are grappling with how to regulate this new frontier without stifling innovation. It's a delicate balancing act, 
Lastly, for Web3 to truly revolutionize our digital world, it needs to be adopted by the masses. That's where user-friendly interfaces, education, and awareness come into play. It's not just about building the technology, but about making it accessible and understandable for everyone. The future of Web3 is still being written, and it's an exciting narrative to follow. Like a book with pages yet to be filled, we're all part of this unfolding story, shaping the digital world of tomorrow. The journey of Web3 is sure to be a thrilling one. As we venture into this new digital frontier, it's essential to stay informed and engaged. Your voice matters in shaping this future, so don't hesitate to join the discussion. The world of Web3 is our shared responsibility and opportunity. Stay tuned for more insights on Web3 and other tech topics. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the future.